Hi everybody, my name is Jackson Derry and I'm going to play some more Deadly Premonition and last episode where this creepy graveyard and this grave has been dug up why would anyone do such thing? Uh, that is creepy Can I actually... No, we can't see who was buried here Buried, buried. I don't know. Too tired to really give a damn. I've been up for like I don't even know. Almost twelve hours soon, I think. Not twelve. Eighteen hours must be. So I'm kind of tired. Only got like. Three hours sleep last night. Yeah, I know. Quit complaining, make some videos. Uh, and that is exactly what I'm doing, and I kinda don't do that game. Kinda see that my car has some trouble. I keep forgetting I have the fast travel device. I'm an idiot. I should remember that. Goddamn fast travel device. It's so useful in so many goddamn ways to avoid all the trouble of driving different places. It's kind of funny to drive, but it's kind of won't be in this game as well. The handbrake, especially. Oh well, so I have red seeds. Uh oh. Mr. Francis York Morgan, finally yes. you have arrived. You are welcome to come inside. Wait, what? It's almost like this has happened before. In terms of that. Was the exactly same? Ah, okay. Uh, I think I see what's going on here. It's so you don't need to drive all the way or walk all the way up there. Let's see. Let's go talk to Harry because I have the goddamn red seat he asked for. What? That needs to be fine-tuned. Do you have another weird puzzle for me Mr. this Francis time? Mr. Francis York Morgan, please proceed to Mr. Stewart's room. There he awaits you, I shall assume. But... I'm kind of confused right now. It almost seems like... I'm doing... Oh, it's exactly the same as... Earlier. Ah, really? Do I need to do? Do I really need to do the same kind of puzzle as last time? God damn it! Stop doing that. This dumb. Well, something tells me I need to do some sort of puzzle. So, what exactly am I doing here? Oh, uh, okay, I think I see some patterns here. Okay, I'll first check back inside and see. Because last time it was about the symphonies on the oh, music on the papers. So let's see, it says Moonlight. Okay, so 14, 23, and 26. That's not gonna happen. 
Okay, I think I have recalled them now. Yes. 14. So I guess and assume I will need to push this over here somewhere. Now oh, this is just an assumption, but... Ah, huh. Okay, and then one more and then two down. And ours should be fine. Ah yeah, four right there, so it must be 14. If I push it two down. Since they would be 10 and four. Don't think I don't know if that's correct, but I think I'm onto something. It would kind of weird if it was. Okay, green eyes means good things. Okay, then it was twenty three and twenty six, I think. Ugh. All those paths, so... Uh, let's see... Five... Yeah, why the hell not? Let's just push this to... 26. And take the other one to 22. I think that's the fastest way to do it. I still rather pulling this to 23. But nope. There we go. Oh, it's, I kind of like these puzzles. They are a di bit different from the other ones that have been so far in the game. They are not over the top amazing, but they are pretty cool to get some priority in the game. But I kind of don't see why it would be in Harry's backyard or what the hell this is supposed to be. But that is just me. Okay, and that one. Oh, not that one. Almost last one. And one more. Come on, use all your muscles. Ooh, nice. So here we are. And the door just unlocked. Sweet. God damn it. Don't know why I've been playing a lot of Day C lately, so I keep thinking I need to open door with F. I've also kind of been thinking if I should make a sort of drunk let's play of Daisy, but I don't think it would be that funny. Don't know if it's just me, but maybe, maybe not. Post the comments. Also, I know I've been doing amnesia for quite a while, but right now I do not have time to have both let's play going at the same time I think maybe I will do some or parts of this chapter and then god damn and then probably try to do some amnesia again amnesia is kind of one of my very favorite game and the big modding community really helps it that will Just to bring new ideas and new different types of mechanics to the game. It's pretty interesting in many ways. Ooh, hello Harry. So, goddammit, stop poking the mic. And what is going on? Oh, okay, there you are. I found the seeds. Harry, 
turns out what you said was true. And I'd like to hear more. Huh. Oh, what? York, as you know, there's a powerful mystery surrounding these seeds. You've seen them at those other murders that took place elsewhere. And you've seen them deeply involved with the murders in this town as well. He can talk. He's That's creepy. Right. But how do you know all this? York, you must be younger than you look. Youngsters uh. tend to hurry so much that they let things slip right past them. Still what you kind need of... to do is slow this down a bit. <laughs> that way you'll see what's really important. Let me tell you a story. Well, let's hear that story ago, then. When the war was over, just about when the uh. communist red started to become a rising threat, our town constructed the community center then, soon afterwards a serial killer wearing a red raincoat went on a killing spree oh the legend of the raincoat killer stop playing games with me harry that's nothing more than folklore the fbi nope. has no such record of a multiple homicide case in this town well York, maybe because anna becky and now Diane. Their deaths are real, not folklore, not legend. That's kind of true indeed. The raincoat and York is, is real. Kinda but dick under somehow. A strict gag order, the mass murder case was never made public. In fact, one could say that it was completely erased from history. Oh tell me. Think would be hmm. able to do something like that. Me, probably. I don't know. The military. Uh, Very good. A model student. Interesting. But if and there are no records about it, then how do you know it really happened? Maybe. Good question, you. Maybe that's why he's. Why would weird I know this? Thing here. The answer is very simple. I was there. You're the killer. I saw it with my own eyes. The brutal killer himself. In that but case, it can't be your. But. That uh. another time. What we need to talk about is your raincoat killer. Yes. Harry is still kind of the creepy. The real one. What oh, so it's a copycat. Is the new one. Kinda. I mean. Uh, special? How special? Is he actually a model? I'm kind of wondering now. Saying that the series of cases I've been following are all linked to this town. That's interesting, Harry. 
but there's no That's evidence very to support interesting that story. Indeed. None of the criminals we caught for the other murders ever mentioned anything like that. Well, it's your job. <laughs> your role and duty to look into that. I see. Now, I think. Must go on. Uh, stop playing around. You know, and, I said uh, that the incident 50 years ago was totally erased. It's well, at the library. Great. Records still exist in the sheriff's office. Yes. The old sheriff back then hated the military and did his own investigation. I need you to bring those documents here to me. God damn it. Once you've done that, I'll tell you everything I know. <laughs> Still don't know if I should trust Harry or if he's actually okay, worth a look. the psychopathic well murder bus fun. I mean... Well, it's kind of sad to say he's handicapped. I don't know what exactly is wrong with him, but he seems not to be able to move like a raincoat killer. Also, imagine him in a raincoat. A sweet and safe. And I do have a little time to continue on a bit more before cutting this part. And there Documents we go. Documents from a case that happened 50 years ago. Let's play along with the old man for a little longer, shall we? Zach, that means we I need to head for the sheriff's department. I still kind of don't know. I mean... Uh, I guess that's the best thing to do indeed, but... Still, it's so confusing. Still don't exactly know what to do, when, where, or whatever. But the information he just gave us is kind of interesting. And the reason why I'm going to a milk barn is just to get a side quest so I can get infinite ammo on my shotgun. I think it's another one of those spooky places. So, anyhow, I also think I actually can give Keith my guitar without Yo, being dude. sure. Talk. Hey, so what's man. Up? Keith, what's wrong? You're usually more upbeat. You really want me to drag you down too, FBI? Maybe I can pull you back up. Well, I've lost something, man. My most precious treasure in the whole world. Uh, well, guitar, maybe. My most precious after my family. My guitar, man. It's gone. Lily said she well, gave it away. I don't have your guitar, gave man. Away. Can you believe that? I may have a guitar, She says though. it's my fault for not tidying up the storeroom. I don't get her, man. What kind of logic is that? I didn't tidy up the storeroom, so I have to lose my guitar? You with me, right, FBI? Well, man to man, you see where I'm coming from. Your guitar means that much to you. Oh, uh, my meeting with that fine guitar is what led me onto the path of rock, man. It was back in uh, high school. I made my first visit to Seattle. The world was tired of pop music, right here. and people were crying out for a new sound. Rock and roll it was only a few it. years before grunge would explode out of Seattle. I met a true rocker there, man. He had the sunglasses, a biker jacket, and the long hair. Man, he even had a bandana. I mean, he was behind the times by then, but nevertheless, the pure white guitar on his back hypnotized all who passed him. In the midst of everyone wanting oh. something new, I glimpsed a tradition that had to continue. That's right. It's called Rockabilly. You dig me, right, man? I think so. The world can't be built solely on new things. I couldn't help myself. I approached him and opened my mouth. I told him what I was feeling, FBI, right there on the street. I don't remember the words I used now. It was, it was like a dream, but it sparked it's something inside me. Crazy, I can tell you that. Our shared love of music allowed us to talk like old friends. Before I knew it, I'd been hanging out with this guy for three days. When I finally had to go home, oh, yeah. what do you know? 
He gave me that guitar, man. He said that the soul of rock should be passed on to the next generation. That is how the legendary guitar Grekoch came into my hands. Well, thanks for listening anyway, FBI. It means a lot to me. The bond between men. That's kind of weird. Kind of cool story, bro, but it needs more unicorn stuff. Ah, uh, but you know what? I actually have a present Yo, for you. Uh, okay. Well, I can also buy this one. Just now where I'm here. Hey, man. This map shows a station along the abandoned extended lines track. Now that was a busy place Ooh. back when the lumber trade was big. No one goes near it now, you know. It's like a, a train graveyard. Oh, I actually think I've been there. On top of that, to get some folks say they've even seen ghosts there. G I don't mean one or two ghosts, man. I mean like hundreds. <laughs> and now, leg light. Every <laughs> now and then, a golden opportunity uh, comes along. That is just so. Like a chance to leave home for a while and earn a lot of money. There were plenty of them at the end of the 80s. The lumber mill lumber was severely short-handed, so they stuff, called in a so... lot of outside workers. But the place was failing, and indeed it died before most of the poor guys got there. So there was like a load of labor workers that had nowhere to go. No place to work, no way to get back to where they came from. A fair amount of them decided to live on the train they had rode in on. I guess that oh. must have been hard living. Living on a train car that ain't moving. What kept them in town? That's ah, no. I understand. The head of the lumber mill had been lying to them. Wait just a little longer. We'll have work for you soon. You know, that kind of thing. He was just a lying uh, scumbag. A no Indeed. way to rock, man. But <laughs> lies, they only last so long. With each day that passed, those unemployed guys got more angry. But then, Lastly. something happened. And the timing for it was incredible. The rail car all they were spending people. the night in just happened to catch fire. With all them inside it. Incredible uh, timing indeed. Oh yeah, but the police couldn't find any I evidence to pin it on anyone. Yes, it they didn't would have be all those foreman. gadgets and stuff you guys got now. And the police were annoyed the unemployed guys were causing trouble. Nothing happened to the head of the lumber mill. Oh. It made the news as an accident. But the rumor An says accident. that a large number of those A boys are still living in that accident. train car, I don't know. unaware that they're dead. You better be careful, Mr. FBI, if you go down there sure by thinks. yourself. <laughs> okay, sweet. Now we can do another side quest that may actually help me a lot. Should I buy that one? Deep blue? Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> Pimp suit, pretty much. Well... What do I need? I kind of need more of these. Yep, thank you. And... Chocolate. Cookie. Donut. Let's take donuts because I'm FBI, I need my daily donuts to be a badass. Ooh, pizza. Sweet. Why haven't I seen that for that didn't work? Well, you know, I think I'll be back later. And now where I'm at it, just to get over oh, Yo, dude. So it's not going to be in the next episode. Let's... What? I know I have the guitar somewhere. Oh, weapon back? Ah, do I need to have it in my hand maybe? <sighs> Yo, dude. Ah, god damn it. Ah, uh, come on! Stop doing that, you... Ass back. Uh, yo, dude. Talk. Can I please? Okay, apparently I can't. 
Well, I'll figure out the next episode what the hell or why. Uh, why well, this isn't working, so. Thank you very much for watching. As always, take care. I'll see you all in the next video of whatever I make. So, bye!